NBA 2K23 is finally here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys the best guard build in NBA 2K23. Now, I've been in the builder for the past two hours studying every part of this builder. So before we make this build, I need everybody to drop a like right now and click that subscribe button and help me hit 500k subscribers. Now, as you guys can see, you're going to fill out your first and last name just like any other 2K. Then the position that we are going to go with is a point guard. I have tested out every single position for this build so far. I've tested out the point guard the shooting guard the small forward the power forward obviously not a center but guys the point guard position is our best bet for this build now whenever i show you guys this build it is insane the amount of badges you get the exact attributes are just insane now the handedness i'm going left-handed let me know in the comments down below which handedness you choose on nba 2k now we're going to continue on to the next screen now i'm going to try to make this as basic as i can so you guys are not confused also teach you guys throughout the builder let you guys know what is good what is so you're not confused. I don't want you guys to be wasting money because, hey, who wants to waste money, bro? They are taxing every single year. They tax and tax and tax, all right? For our body settings, the height we are going with is six foot four. The reason being is because we still get the really good dribble moves. We get all the dribble moves in the game at six foot four. Now listen up, you guys might think I'm crazy, but this part right here, our weight, usually you would go all the way down and make him a super skinny guard. Take a look at our strength. We have a 56 strength if we do that. This year, it's glitchy. You're gonna wanna make your player as fat as possible. Literally max weight as a guard, but hear me out. Hear me out. Look, we lose a little bit of speed. We're down to a 92 speed. Oh no, big deal. Look at our strength. This year's strength means literally everything. If you do not have strength, number one, you're gonna get killed on defense. But number two, offensively, you're going to be so weak. It is going to be, it, it's gonna be hilarious. Now, honestly, look, if you don't believe me, nah, please go with no strength and please play against me. You will literally be free rep every single game. But besides the point, if people are stubborn and don't listen, you're just gonna have to take your own risk and waste all your money that you spend on your build. For the wingspan, it's pretty obvious. We're gonna max out our wingspan. Just so we have the best defense possible. Now, if you guys are concerned about your shooting, you know, minus six on the three point shot, minus five on the mid range shot, I have been on this game for the past two days in the 2KU shooting with every single three-point possible with every jump shot And I've seen so many clips from people guys shooting this year is not that difficult However, you have to green. All right, if you guys shoot whites this year. They are not going in So for all my people that were whiting every shot in 22 Sorry to tell you but you're patched our body shape you gotta go compact You know make yourself a little skinnier after all the weight you put on like come on now You gotta go compact. All right now it is time to set up potential you guys see the tier one tier two tier three badges for every single category our finishing or shooting our playmaking and our defense if you guys do not understand that i'm going to explain that a little further into the video when we get to the badge section all right you guys see on the far right side we get to upgrade our player until we reach our max potential which is a 99 overall but hear me out do not skip this part of the video otherwise you will waste your money on a build that is just not my build, all right? I'm putting you guys onto the sauce day one of NBA 2K23 next gen. Now, for our finishing, we're going to upgrade our finishing to a 76, all right? Now, I'm going to start from the top and go all the way down because it's just the easiest. I'm not going to mess with these attributes in a random order. I'm going to keep this as basic, as simple, as easy to learn as possible because, look, I've been in this builder. Whenever I first got in here, I was mad confused, and I don't want anybody to be confused because I'm trying to help you guys out, put you onto the best build day one of the game so you guys can go on big streaks just like myself now for the driving layup you will need an 80 driving layup we're gonna bring our driving dunk to an 80 as well and that will give us enough to get the off one from nba 2k22 if you remember the dunk off one it was the most unblockable overpowered dunk ever all right you do not need contact dunks right away all right the game just came out let's get a build where we can dominate every single game we play and not worry about being Zion Williamson and putting a guy in the floor, or post rising the dude, whatever it may be. Once you guys got the finishing category, you should have 16 badges, all right? 16 potential badge points you could use. We are going to upgrade our mid range shot to a 78, okay? We gotta make it a 78, and then our three point shot, we are going to bring it to an 85. The most important badge that I'm looking for in this category is our limitless range. Our limitless range is gonna help us a lot. You guys are gonna wanna use a lot of silver and gold 
badges this year. Hall of Fame badges are great. Don't get it twisted. But with the badge layout in the badge system that they have created this year, it eats up too many badge points. It's just simply not worth it. I'll explain when we get to the badges later on. But for now, we're going on to the playmaking category. And the first thing we're going to upgrade is our pass accuracy. I'm making this as easy as possible for you guys can understand. If this has been smooth sailing so far, don't forget to drop a like on the video and click that subscribe button if you guys are new. Now for the ball handle, we got to put this to an 87 overall. Now our speed with ball, we're going to bring this to an 88. Now our speed with ball is very important as that is our speed, okay? That is our speed. Our speed down here is basically your speed running up and down the floor. Speed with ball is everything. It's how fast you are with the ball. So don't be the guy that just thinks, oh, I don't need my speed with ball. No, you need your speed with ball. Now it is time to mess with our defense. The first thing we're going to do is our interior defense. We're going to bring this to a 47. Nothing insane, but just trust me, that's what you need. Our perimeter defense, we're going to bring this to an 86 overall. If we click Y, when we bring it to an 86, you guys see we get this challenger badge. Improves effectiveness of well-timed contest against perimeter shooters. So for anybody that's just sparking threes at the three-point line and you're jumping at them, it's probably because you don't have challenger on gold. Like, real shit. Now our steal, it's gotta be an 85, okay? I'm not lacking defense this year. Defense is very important. You cannot lack defense ever. Honestly, you can't. Now for our block, we gotta max it out. So we have a 70 block. Defensive rebound, we're gonna up it once. Now for this part right here, I need you guys to pay attention. Our speed, we're bringing to an 85. Our acceleration, we're bringing to an 85. Our strength, from the very beginning, when I told y'all to make yourself a fat ass, we are bringing our strength all the way to an 82. Now let me explain. If you guys look up at the finishing category, this badge right here called Bully is extremely underrated. Improves a player's ability to initiate contact and get to the rim on layup attempts. This badge right here is what you are going to want to run, literally. So in order to get that on silver, you need your strength to be an 82. Vertical can stay at a 60 because that is what you're required for the off one and all that good stuff. So it's no point to have your vertical any higher. And the rest, what we're going to do is just put it on stamina. And we have a 95 stamina. We're going to bring our free throw up to a 72. So for all my pro AM heads out there, you know, you got a 72 free throw. You might be able to hit at the line. You might. I'm not going to say you are, but yeah, you might. Now for the badge layout, 16, 21, 22. 20 i'm putting y'all onto the greatest build day one of this game day one of this game i'm putting y'all on now for the primary takeover the best takeover in the game just like last year was limitless range you want that as your primary your secondary you could do it again you could do limitless range again but for me personally i'm gonna go with extreme clamps you know what i'm saying if i'm on the twos bro i'm playing to streak i'm playing to dominate go crazy I need some lock take. You know what I mean? I need lock take. Extreme clamps. Nobody's scoring on me with extreme clamps on. And I'm just letting you guys know right now. Now that our build is complete, the demigod day one build of NBA 2K23, shades of Drew Holiday, Terry Porter, Lonzo Ball, we have created a three-point shot creator. Drop a like and click that subscribe button if you guys fuck with this build. To me personally, this build is insane. I don't think you guys truly understand how crazy this badge layout really is. Now for the badge tiers, you have tier one, tier two, tier three. If we read, we get 16 badge points available. Now, if you guys read to get to tier three, you got to equip at least 10 points between tiers one and two to get yourself a tier three badge. So the first badge that I'm going to equip in the finishing category is Giant Slayer. It costs four points, okay? Now we need six more points to get to our tier three badge. Giant Slayer is a must. So now I'm going to go to our tier two category and I'm going to put on Fearless Finisher. Fearless Finisher costs four points it is a really good badge. Now, if you guys read where it says tier three, equip at least 10 badge points between one and two, we have eight equipped. That means we need to equip two more badges. So I'm gonna put Smasher on silver. It says improves a player's ability to finish well around the rim, especially over smaller defenders. So like I said, 6-4 is a pretty big guard build. If I'm playing any play shot, oh, it's over. Now for the tier three badges, you guys see we have six points available. We have six points left. Now you guys probably see on your screen, equipped core badges. Core badges are very, very useful this year. A badge must be equipped to earn progress towards the core badge challenge. Once the challenge is met, related badge level is eligible to be made a core badge. So it's basically like getting a free badge without using any badge points. I'll probably use it on Bully, honestly. So if I wanted this to be a core badge, all I'm gonna do is click Y. You guys see that is my core badge. You guys see it costs six points for that, but basically since I equipped it as my core badge, once I unlock that challenge, 
that will be literally free. It's literally a free badge. You just get an extra free badge. Now, I'm not going to be doing posterizers because my build doesn't have, you know, contacts or anything like that. So there's no point. Giant Slayer is basically like the same thing as Slithery almost. So I don't think I'm going to choose Slithery. I'm going to choose Limitless Takeoff. So whenever I use my limitless takeoff, I have my off one dunk package. Oh my God, I'm literally gonna be able to take off from the free throw line. Off one, the most unblockable dunk in the game. This would be our badge layout for our finishing category. Giant Slayer on Hall of Fame, Masher on Silver, Fearless Finisher on Silver, Foley on Silver, and Limitless Takeoff on Silver. I don't know if you guys ask me, that badge layout is crazy, all right? That is insane. Now mind you, I'm a point guard, six foot four, Demon, you feel me? Now, moving on to the shooting category, we get 21 badge points available. Now, you guys might want to read each and every single badge just by based off how you play because they did add a lot of new badges. The first one I got to say, guard up is going to be a must. Increases the ability to make jump shots when defenders fail to properly contest. Guard up is basically like blinders almost. It literally is. We're going to put guard up on gold immediately. Mini magician boosts the effectiveness of pull up spin shots, fadeaways from the mid range area. I'm not going to lie for me personally, I am a guy that loves to fade. All right. I love fading, but I'm not going to put this on gold just yet. I'm going to put this on silver. Like I said, this year, bronze badges, silver badges, gold badges are all underrated okay super underrated because they don't cost as much points and they're still efficient now last year green machine was really only needed on bronze i don't know what it's gonna be like this year but since it is a new game i don't know i really think it's not gonna be that difficult but just to be safe i'm gonna put it on silver amped is another new badge it says reduces the penalty that fatigue has on a player and their ability to make the shots so i'm guessing when you're tired you know what i mean you're still gonna be able to make your shots which i genuinely think is really good so i'm gonna put this on gold now this is where it gets really hard because all of these are really good badges when it comes to shooting now remind you you get one core badge so you don't have to use it so we're gonna see what costs the most so this is six points for a limitless range six points for dead eye six points for blinders they all cost the same I'm gonna put my core badge as limitless range. I think that's a really good core badge to have is limitless range as it is very important this year. For the next ones, it's either blinders or dead eye. So blinders is basically just getting contested from the side and then dead eye is straight on contest. Now, if you guys are running screens with your duo or whoever you're playing with, go blinders. But if you guys are not running screens and you're isoing, man, I really don't know, it's tough. I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna have to go with blinders. I think the defender is more likely to come and get a contest from the side than he is directly in front of you. So this is my shooting badge layout. We got guard up on gold, mini magician on silver, amped on gold, green machine on silver, blinder silver, and limitless range on silver being my core badge. Now moving on to playmaking. Oh my God, all right, we have 22 badge points available. We gotta use these wisely. I'm gonna just say this immediately. I heard the ankle breaker is super overpowered this year. Um, and there's a lot of new badges, so I gotta read myself and really know what's the best. Like Vice Grip, I've never heard of it. This would be really good for like a big man. After you get a rebound or something like that, you know what I'm saying, you're not gonna get plucked. But the first badge I gotta equip is my Quick First Step on Hall of Fame. You need Quick First Step, no doubt about it. Unpluckable, I'm not gonna lie, it's gotta go gold, it has to. But this is getting bad because our badges are getting eaten up very, very, very fast. Okay, I completely lied. Hyperdrive is like not as good as this new one right here called Killer Combos. Improves the player's ability to beat the taller defender off the dribble in a one-on-one -on -one situation when they're switched onto them. So if you're an ISO player, this match expert's gonna be that insane badge that's just super overpowered. I think I gotta run this on silver, like I got to. And then Killer Combos is a very good badge, improves the player's ability to chain together efficient dribble moves while sizing up their opponent. I gotta put that on bronze. Now obviously, I don't know yet, I'm not in game, I don't know how this is gonna be. I'd love to run Dimer for my teammates, I'd love to run Floor General, and I'd love to run Ankle Breaker. Now for right now, we're gonna stick with this and move on to the last category, which is our defensive and rebounding badges. Now since I am 6'4", and I feel like a lot of guards on this game are gonna be a little smaller anywhere from like the five foot eleven to like the six three range especially for all like the play shots number one gotta be pick dodger you need your pick dodgers especially when little play shots are hiding behind screens you just have to menace looks like a crazy good badge this year while guarding and staying in front of an opponent their attributes will drop if good defense is being played like that just sounds insane like if i put that on gold like, bro, that just sounds so toxic. Like, that is insane. So now that we have used 10 badge points, we can go down here to tier 3 already. Challenger, like I said, it's a must. Challenger is a must. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna use this as my core badge. Challenger on gold 
is going to be my core badge just because read it improves the effectiveness of well-timed contest against perimeter shooters so for anybody shooting a three and you jump at them they're gonna miss that i promise glove is basically like pickpocket now i do have an 85 steel i don't think i can prioritize that yet clamps it's gotta go on silver now interceptor or glove it's all personal preference at the end of the day now that i have four badges remaining i kind of just gotta fill it in so i am gonna run chase down artists on silver you never know when you need that and then i could put rebound chase on bronze and then i can also put pogo stick box out i'm not gonna lie as that annoying guard i think i'm gonna use box out beast just just to help my center out if i need to box out this is my official demigod build day one of nba 2k23 make sure you guys follow every single thing that i just did so you guys don't waste your money on this build let me know what you guys think of this build if you made it to the very end of the video comment 500k clutch in the comments subscribe to the channel if you're new drop a like on the video if you guys haven't already and with that being said it's been your boy Clutch Up next, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.